Hello and welcome to Hydraulic Jeep Part 10. Today I will attempt to build adapter plate that will connect my Volkswagen TDI engine with the GM 700R4 automatic transmission. Yeah, don't look at me like that, it's going to be automatic. I'm an old dude and my gear shifting days are over. If you want to do something like that, certain actually huge amount of precision is needed because if the crankshaft it's not aligned perfectly with transmission input shaft it's gonna cause all kind of problems like uh, premature bearing wear, leaks uh, or in extreme cases uh, even broken transmission input shaft. There are two bushings on each side of the motor block and those are responsible for aligning engine and transmission every time you remove the transmission from the engine uh, when you put them back together transmission will fit in exactly the same spot if you want to make your own adapter plate at your own garage by yourself it, in my opinion it's a good idea to machine shaft like this it's a simple in this case it's a simple two and a half inch bar and there's a three quarter bar welded to it that's the thin one and I believe this is a piece of gas pipe welded to that uh, three quarter shaft and then everything is machined on a lathe to the specification so it fits in uh, engine main bearings three of them if it's enough it doesn't have to go all the way down and this diameter here uh, this is exact diameter of the input shaft bearing in the transmission so now if I put the transmission on top of this engine it will be aligned perfectly. All I have to do is make a connection between engine block and the bell housing. Another thing to consider is positioning of a starter. Where are you going to mount it? Originally TDA starter is mounted on the transmission side so it's sitting somehow like this mounted to bell housing. That's out of the question with 700R4 transmission. In all aftermarket adapter plates I have seen the starter is mounted right there, which looks like a perfect spot for it. But don't forget that the turbo is sitting right there, right beside it, turbo and downpipe. It's going to disperse lots of heat, so the starter is going to be hot all the time. But where else can I put it? How about here? Right beside the oil pan away from the heat but is it close enough to the crankshaft will it engage the flywheel well let's see when I was making that alignment shaft little place for flywheel was machined I'm using 1985 Camaro 2.8 flywheel let's see if the stutter will be close enough to it Looks like it is, it will engage with no problem. In order to put starter at this position, small piece of oil pan have to be trimmed.
I used adjustable reamer to make those holes fit the bushing perfectly uh, and measure the distance between them and I think it should fit. Let's see. Looks good to me. To mark remaining three mounting holes I will use simple piece of screw with a point on one side and cut for screwdriver.
all machining was done, transmission and engine block are bolted together. It's time to check if they are lined up correctly. So let's load alignment missile. I think it's perfect. I'm so happy. It worked. Of course, now I have to figure it out how to mount the starter and finish all the bottom of the plate. But that's going to happen in the next episode. So thanks for watching and see you next time.